Hear the word of the Lord from 2 Kings chapter 25. And in the 37th year of the exile of Jehoiachin, king of Judah, in the 12th month, on the 27th day of the month, Evel Merodach, king of Babylon, in the year that he began to reign, graciously freed Jehoiachin, king of Judah, from prison. And he spoke kindly to him and gave him a seat above the seats of the kings who were with him in Babylon. So Jehoiachin put off his prison garments, and every day of his life he dined regularly at the king's table. And for his allowance, a regular allowance was given him by the king, every day a portion, as long as he lived. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. God. Waiting. Anticipation. Have you ever gone to bed at night and laid there and tossed and turned and your pillow felt like a rock and the bed felt like it was filled with sand and you just can't find a comfortable spot and you lie there in the dark waiting in anticipation. And a lot of times when I think of that kind of waiting I think of something joyful the next day like when I used to lie and wait of Christmas the next morning as a child. But I wonder how many times we lay in the dark and we wait and we can't sleep because tomorrow holds the result of bad choices. Tomorrow holds some sort of judgment for the way our lives have gone to this point. And this is where Israel finds itself in our passage today. And I want us to take a minute to dive into the story, to become a part of that community. Because as we've heard, for hundreds of years they waited on a temple. They waited on their promised land. And it seemed that those things had come to pass. They waited on a king. And they got a king. But time and again, through the book of Judges, you see the phrase, and they did evil in the sight of the Lord. They did evil in the sight of the Lord. Again and again and again. And at the end of chapter 24, the beginning of chapter 25, we read this. Zedekiah was 21 years old when he became king, and he reigned 11 years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Hamutal, the daughter of Jeremiah of Libna. And he did what was evil in the sight of the Lord, according to all that Jehoiakim had done. For because of the anger of the Lord, it came to the point in Jerusalem and Judah that he cast them out from his presence. Do we remember not so long ago the sermons we heard on 1 Kings chapter 8 when the glory of the Lord entered the temple and how we celebrated that. But now they have done evil in the sight of the Lord time and again and the Lord has cast Jerusalem from his presence. And through the next part of chapter 25, we find a people who are about to enter a period of tremendous darkness. As this glorious temple that took so long to build and they took so much care to put together is completely wiped out in two years or less. All of the vessels that they had crafted to worship Yahweh are stolen or destroyed. The leaders find themselves either in Babylon or in Egypt. Interesting that they find themselves in Babylon 
a place that contains the city of Ur, where their father Abraham had originally started. Or they find themselves in Egypt, a place that represented slavery and suppression. They're back where they started. A time of incredible darkness. Where there seems to be no hope. The psalmist in the 137th Psalm said, we find ourselves by the river of Babylon and we can't sing the songs of Zion anymore. We've hung our instruments on the trees because there's no point in singing. We find a people in a dark place. Mm 